go last on health care, because that's my thing. Um, I also support a single-payer system, and as Beth said, I think you'll find that most of us, we agree pretty much on everything um, related to health care. Um, I can tell you that I have worked in the industry. That is my, my career is in the healthcare industry, so I do have the knowledge to back that up um, and, I, and, and the willingness to fight those health insurance companies. What you'll hear a lot of times down at the State House and, and in the State Senate, uh, the, the folks who are running the committees will say, well, we can't get there, or the insurance lobby is too big, or things like that. And I always tell them, I, I think that uh, they are things that we'll have to fight against, but it's time to do it now. Um, and, and the bill that I spoke about earlier, the, the CHIP bill, I think is one way to get there. We also can cover all children under CHIP, I believe, in the first term uh, of, this, of the next term of the legislature, if we make it a priority. So my number one priority will be health care. Um, and, and as Matt mentioned, and I'll go into the fiscal, the fiscal responsibility part of it just a little bit, uh, a single-payer system will save over a billion dollars. And I, I actually knocked on the door the other day of a woman who does not support single-payer health care. I was shocked. Michelle, she lives in your neighborhood. So you should know that and go to her house. But she, we talked about it, and, and I told her, I said, you know, we're our, we pay right now for folks who don't have insurance through the high cost of our health care and through the high cost of our insurance premiums. And I believe that it is our moral responsibility to provide health care for everyone because, as Matt said, we can't have kids that learn well in school, we can't have teachers that teach well, and we can't do well at our jobs if we don't have health care. So uh, I also support a single-payer system, and thank you for the question.